07 Commanders. Today we're going to walk through a restore or reactivation mission in Elite Dangerous Odyssey Alpha. There are a few mission requirements before we get started. First of all, you will need the Maverick suit. This also comes with the Arc Cutter, which is vitally important for this mission. Next, you need the Power Regulator, which is provided once you accept the mission. And finally, I do recommend uh, a few consumables, and that would be medkits and energy cells. First things first, head over to the closest mission terminal and go to the support section. There you'll see restore or reactivation missions. They're both pretty much the same. The goal is to go to an abandoned settlement, remove any hostiles if there are any, insert the new power regulator to power up the base, and put out any of the fires within the buildings. Once you've accepted a mission, book an Apex shuttle and head on over to the base. Before Frontier fixed it, it was a gamble on whether or not the power regulator would actually show up in your inventory once you disembark from the shuttle. So what I tend to do is just make sure that it's inside my backpack by looking at the inventory screen which is also the right menu. Once you land and disembark, your next step is to find the power station. Sometimes there will be enemy scavengers on these missions so you'd have to take them out first. If you're having trouble finding the power station, look for the building that has the big PWR letters on the side. You'll have to use the arc cutter to open up the panel so that you can charge it with your energy link. Once charged, the door will open and you can enter. Be very, very careful around the fires and keep a very close eye on your health. Right now, fire damage is insanely high and can kill you instantly if you're not paying attention. All you'll have to do now is to go to the regulator housing and transfer over the power regulator. Then go to the console and activate the power. It'll take some time for the power to turn back on, but if you see the actual generator turning blue, then you're on the right track. Once the power is back on, you will see some other panels and other lights turning on. To clear the fires in the power station, you'll just have to activate the panel over here. Your objective will now state that you need to put out the fires at the settlement buildings. This can be done by either deactivating the atmosphere from a panel on the inside or from a panel that you have to cut via the roof. Some buildings don't have the atmosphere panel inside so you will have to cut a few panels here and there. If you're having trouble looking for some of the atmosphere panels, just use a terminal to locate them all. And don't forget, since this is an abandoned settlement, you'll have all the free reign to take all the materials you can hold without accruing a bounty. Once you've gone to every building and put out all the fires, the mission is complete. Just call your Apex shuttle and head back into the station to hand it in. Thanks for watching. If this guide helped you out, consider leaving a like and subscribing. I do stream on Twitch a few times a week, so it would be pretty awesome if you stopped by to say hello. All my links are in the description below. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day. Gotta go. See ya.